Welcome to this week's shooting show. I'm Chris Parkin and I'm here on the farm in West Yorkshire and I'm using the new Swarovski DS rifle scope. This is a 5 to 25 by 52 large rifle scope, but the key fact about this that makes it very interesting is it's got its own inbuilt laser rangefinder and ballistic computer. So once you put your reticle on target and press that single button there, it gives you your firing solution and projects a red LED bar on your vertical stadia of the reticle to tell you exactly where to aim. You can have a 40mm tube for standard ring mounts, or there's also a rail mount option. Weight varies from 1090 to 1115 grams. Overall length is 403mm. The scope is waterproof to 4m submersion depth. I've set the DS2 up on this 223 Sauer rifle. My predominant reason for shooting at the moment is I've got lambs to protect and I've got crows, magpies particularly to look after and the odd fox in the daytime as well. It's a 40mm tube and I've set it up with these tier 1 rings uh, on the Picatinny rail. Magnification goes from 5 to 25 power and you've got the rubberized collar here. The reticle inside in the second focal plane is the 4AI which is the usual Swarovski model. Firing the rangefinder is the top centre button here with positive and negative brightness and there is a small blue light here which gives you indication of the Bluetooth status. Light transmission is 83%. Exit pupil diameter is 9.6 to 2.1 millimetres. Max aim point correction is 1024 metres which should cover most hunting situations and the fast focus eyepiece goes from minus 3 to plus 2 diopter. Parallax on the left side goes from 50 metres with a detent at 100 metres all the way out to infinity. Field of view is 7.3 to 1.5 metres at 100 metres. Diopter adjustment on the ocular lens is minus 3 to plus 2. Although the scope has got electronic functions and factors, it still zeroes mechanically with an erect tube inside. The tools to zero it are hidden under this top turret cover. The CR123A battery is rated for 500 readings and calculations. Initial setup of the mechanical turret is slightly more fiddly than some scopes. There is also a secondary, slightly larger T-handle key to make adjusting the clicks more precise and easier to feel. Both of them work exactly the same way, it just makes it slightly easier with cold hands on the days you're zeroing. Click value is quarter inch at 100 yards or 7 millimeters at 100 meters. And you get clicks in the same way as any regular rifle scope to zero. It's just they're at the front and not in the center. The Swarovski laser is rated to measure from 30 to 1,375 metres with a precision of 1 metre. Turned up to full intensity, you can see the external perimeter of the LCOS display, but there are 64 brightness levels available to give you the optimum choice for your background scenery. As well as range to target, Inclination angle, air temperature and pressure are all taken into account before calculation of the shot solution. Swarovski are completely honest about the 83% light transmission factor, which is lower than some of their greatest poor light optics, but I still think the image quality is superb. Resolution, colour balance and contrast are still delightfully rich. The reticle focus is absolutely pin sharp, which isn't always reflected with the camera pictures taken from behind. Recommended retail price is £3,630. The configurator app allows you to enter wind values as well. 
I tend to run wind values in meters per second and I've set mine at three and six meters per second. That means that for any distance it calculates at, it also gives me windage bars for three and six meters per second. The windage bars are an excellent factor because they do give you an immediate visual representation of approximate wind corrections. They aren't the be all and end all and they do still rely on a certain amount of human experience and skill, but they are definitely beneficial. Eye relief is 95 millimeters on this premium optic, which offers 83% light transmission. That's not quite as high as some Swarovski kit, but it is a more complicated optical structure with additional lens packages and the LED screen inside to display the reticle. So when you're ready to take a shot, all you have to do is put the reticle on target and press the button on top. It will immediately tell you the distance, 139 meters. I've also got it set to tell me the time of flight, which is 0.16 seconds and 994 joules retained energy at strike. Now I've set it to give me two wind bars as well. And I've used three and six meters per second, but you can choose however you want to scale those yourself. And now of course, as soon as that button's pressed and the distance appears, the red bar appears underneath the center line of the reticle. So you've got your exact elevation aim point. The other control you may need to alter regularly is the brightness of the reticle because depending on the brightness of the background you need to have good contrast against it so you can see it well. The human eye actually accommodates for it very very quickly. When I've been using the camera to video through the scope it's been a little bit more difficult but now I'm back on it with my eyes it's much 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 nicer. It's also important to mention the bar on the reticle, which gives you your aim over point, because the reticle's in the second focal plane, as you change magnification, that bar will also move real time. So regardless of what magnification setting you either start on when range finding or use for the actual shot itself, the scope will correct the image for you. It is important to practice on targets and refine your shot solution. It might just be a case of tweaking the ballistic coefficient and the muzzle velocity slightly. And I'd certainly always recommend chronographing the rifle and not just trusting the data printed on the box. Using the DS Configurator app has been actually quite pleasant and connection Bluetooth wise to the DS has been 100% reliable. The app is available for iOS, Android and KitKat and it's easy to use and easy to set up. I think the presentation and usability of it has been excellent from Swarovski. Menu screens are obvious, the bullet library is extensive and it gives you the options to customize anything you want within the setup without getting too complicated and getting good ballistic calculations for your shot solution. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit more about the Swarovski DS2 scope. Whether you need it for pest control or deer stalking, it is certainly a premium product and it's pretty unbeatable for speed when it comes to placing a precision shot in a pressure situation without having to take any hands off the rifle or use any secondary equipment. I'd like to thank this week's show sponsors and I'd also like to thank Edgar Brothers for Hornady ammunition used in testing. Thank you to Sauer for the 100 Keeper rifle used for testing the scope and also to Highland Outdoors for the 40mm Tier 1 scope rings. Basque, if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.